So maybe this is your first time playing this. Or maybe you've played it before or seen somebody else do it and you just could never figure something out about it. Well, you've come to the right place because today we're going to be playing and beating Granny. Now, of course, Granny is not home today because we are in practice mode. But I'm going to show you how to open up the front door, find all the, find all the items you need, and what you need to do with them. Let's go on down to the front door to take a look. Of course, this is version 1.7.3, so it's been fully updated as far as it can go now. So right now, we're going to need to find a switch. What does that mean? We'll get to that in a little bit. Also, what's this? I need a battery, okay? Now, these two locks right here are only on the door whenever the option for extra locks is enabled. Or one of them might be here if you're playing in hard mode. So, just letting you know that. If you're playing with extra locks off, then you're just going to see these locks right over here. Which is... I need a padlock code. Okay. I need a padlock key. Those are different. Looks like we're going to need to cut some wires with the cutting pliers. And knock off a board with a hammer. And then finally, for the grand escape, we're going to need a master key. So we got a lot to do today. Let's go ahead and get started with it. Now if you want to see me escape with the car, then go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So that way you can get notified whenever I put that video out. Today we're just going to be focusing on the objects. We're not really going to be focusing on Granny. If you want to see how to outmaneuver her or trick her in any way and beat her, then definitely check out my gameplay videos. So what have we here? We have a weapon key. Let me show you where this goes. So these boxes here are hiding secret room. Sometimes they can be kind of tricky to get toppled over. Watch. Watch them fall. Slow fall. Yeah! Those make noise, by the way. As does most of the stuff in Granny's house. So, that makes noise. That'll call Granny over. But Granny's not home, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. So what, what have we here? A weapons box. And what do we need? A weapon key. And how convenient. We have one right here. With a crossbow and tranquilizer dart. Now if Granny were home, we could tranquilize her for a little bit, but she's not. So what are we going to do with this? Instead we're going to come out here in front, we're going to knock that down. You can only get that down with the crossbow or the shotgun, which I might show you later, we'll see. So let's shoot this down. If you use the crossbow, aim above what you're trying to shoot at because then it will actually hit it the crossbow the dart has a bit of drop especially over longer distances okay so there we go hey, nice place for that okay so we have a screwdriver how nice so you can come on out here and use this let me show you where that where we can find that switch to activate that first lock I'm gonna come out here now the granny bell yeah, but like I said, Granny's not home. So we got four screws here. One, two, three, four. What's behind the magical box? Ah, a switch. That's what unlocks that lock. Let's go see. Now this isn't the only use for the screwdriver. I'll show you what else we can do with it here in a second. Ah. Look at that. It's unlocked now. He, it, it was coming down and blocking the door, but now it's not. Nice. Okay. So let me show you the other use for this. Come on down to the basement here. Knock that over so we can get in the secret passage here. And we can come on over here. Now please do note that the items are not going to spawn in the same place every time. The screwdriver is pretty constant. It just stays up there but not everything is like that. Okay, so this time around we got the car key down here. There's only two screws on that one, by the way. Now you may think, well, we're not escaping with the car. Why would we need the car key? Well, yes, the car key is used to escape with the car, but today we just needed to open the trunk because there's an item inside. And what is this? Bird seed. 
go ahead and take that. We don't need that car key anymore. Let me say, where does this bird seed go? Why did Granny's pet bird, of course, come this way? And I will show you. So through the secret area back here, I'm going to come on down this way. And right here we have a meat room. <clears throat> and back here we have a secret door. Yeah. With a whole other house area. And then back here we have Granny's own pet bird who is guarding the safe key. What happens if we don't have the bird food? <coughs> yeah, you're not getting that safe key without this. So we're going to put it in the bowl. Bird comes flying over there so we can grab the safe key. That's the only thing that bird seed is used for, but if you don't get it the first time you can always reuse it again. What's in here? gasoline can. We don't need that today because we are not escaping with the car. We'll go ahead and check this out down here later. Anything in here? Shotgun piece. Part of a shotgun. I will go ahead and show you that later whenever we do the car video. The escape with the car video. I need a hammer for these wood planks. When we find the hammer, we'll go do that. Where's the safe you ask? Well, let's go down here to this area. Down deeper, this is where we use the screwdriver. So we'll go ahead and go on over to the basement again. What is in the safe? Engine part for the car. We don't need that today, so we're just going to leave that there. Let's come on up here and do some exploring. You can open these drawers here and see if there's anything. Anything at all? Nothing? Okay. So let's come on over here. And in this cabinet we have a winch handle. So let's go ahead and take that. Where does the winch handle go? It goes out in the backyard. Go through the window. Here's the well for the winch handle. You put it on there and then you hold this spinning button down here. Now Granny cannot hear this when she's home, so please do take note of that. What's in the bucket? We have a hammer. How convenient. Do you remember what we used the hammer for? Maybe? Okay, I'll show you. What's this? A book. Okay. That is going to be in the Easter egg video that I will make later. Once again, subscribe button, Hit the bell so that way you get notified when that comes out. The hammer is used on the front door. That was hard. If only one end goes down, go to the other end. Go to the end that's still up and tap the hand again. You have to tap it twice, but it's better to just double tap and get it over with. Okay? Let me show you another use for this hammer. Let's go on upstairs to the attic. Ah, and we have the wood planks. Now, it looks kind of hidden, but that floor is not sturdy. That's the reason, that's one of the reasons why that wood, why those wood planks are there. Excuse me. What happens? Let me just step on the edge to show you. You will die. Come on over here and grab wood plank. Let's take them all down right now. Watch them fall. Timber! Yeah. Oh, what was that? We can grab this? Yes, we can. And then you're going to want to hit the place button, not the drop button. Put that there. Got to be careful. I'm walking across here. I still have trouble with this to this day. I've not, ma I've not mastered it. I just have to keep myself centered. So let's see what we have over here. And what's this? Can we go through here? Nope, that's locked. Only Granny can get through there. Looks like a jail cell. Is that a wheelchair? Let's take a look at that. What was that? Uh-oh. What do we got here? Uh-oh, we're locked in, right? Huh? If you get locked in, don't worry. Find the hinge right there. Pull that out. Huh? Pull this one out, too. How did Granny know we were here? This guy right here. Need a hammer to take that out. So now you say, we're still locked in. Oh, no. There you go. 
I made a lot of noise too. Ooh, a cog wheel, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. Ouch! What in the world? Cutting pliers here too? Oh man, got a lot of work to do. Okay. Well, I know where the hammer is, so I'll take care of that security camera. Hi, how are you? Anyway, let's grab that hammer. Oh, we can hide in here. It's just like under a bed. So take the hammer. Go across here carefully. There's a creak in the floor. And then we'll just go ahead and tap that out. And you can drop stuff through the floor if you aim it right. I didn't aim it right. Usually it'll fall to the right, to the right of me. But today it's got different plans. There we go. Usually it'll fall more like that. So if I go like right here. No? Okay. So maybe if I do it this way instead. There we go. It'll be down on the main floor for me. I still need cutting pliers though. So carefully walk across this plank. And here we have some stuff. This crib. Once again, this will be in the Easter egg video. In here, nothing. In here, cutting pliers. Oh, how convenient. So let's go over here. Walk across carefully. Cut it. Now we can grab the cogwheel safely. So we're going to need these down on the main floor, so let's go ahead and drop them. There we go. Grab the cogwheel. What's this used in? This is used in the playhouse, but first we need to find the playhouse key. The playhouse is in the backyard. Let's use a little passage here. But first, let's see what's over here. Oh, this is locked, eh? What do we need? We need a special key. Let's come over here. Piece of a painting. Also Easter egg video. A lot of Easter egg video material. I know I'm not doing a lot of advertising, but if you want to see it, go watch that when it comes out. Right down here, we're in the bathroom. I don't think we visited here earlier. So Sometimes there'll be something in the tub or in the toilet, but today, neither one is true. I'm sorry. So let's go on down here. We'll check the kitchen in just a minute. Those cabinets can be open. We're going to go ahead. See, this right here is the playhouse. And like I said before, we're going to need a playhouse key. Let's drop it right here because we're going to need to put that cogwheel inside the playhouse. Is there anything out here in this little shack? There is another cogwheel. There's a grand total of two, and we're definitely going to need this other one as well. Oh, what's this? A little vent opening? Let's come down here. It's a sewer. Goodness. Crouch down to get through this little tunnel. Ugh, sounds nasty. Oh, I saw something. We have a code. We're going to need that. Let's look in here. In order to open this, this door over here, we're going to have to shoot that. With the shotgun or the tranquilizer dart. So we'll we'll come back to that later. And then this that that down there was the area I was talking about we were gonna see later. Okay? So we'll go ahead and come over here. Quickest way to the front door. Let's go down these stairs. Through this tunnel. Up the stairs. And right here. We are going to need the padlock code for this lock. Now that's done. We don't need that code anymore. We have the cutting pliers. Let's go ahead and use those. We can use one right here. One light is still red. We gotta go find the other wire. Well, I know where it is. Come on down here. This electrical box, just get close to it. It'll knock it off. Cut this wire right there. Then when we come up here, both lights will be green. That's all you can use these cutting pliers for. Grab the hammer. Let's see what we have left. Need the master key. Need a padlock key. Need a battery. We already did that. Okay. We already did the hammer too. So we'll go ahead and let's go in and check the kitchen. 
leave the hammer there. We have meat for Granny's pet spider upstairs. Ah, we have the master key. That'll work well. Anything else in here? Nothing. What's this? We have a battery. That's good. What do we do with this? Right there. And that unlocks that. Good, good. We only have a couple locks left. Let's go and find those. And we know where the master key is, too. So all we need is the padlock key at this point. Sometimes stuff will spawn over here. Yes, what's this? It's a wrench for the car, which we are not going to need today. Let's go ahead and take this hammer, shall we? Let's go to that other place where we needed the hammer. I hope you'll learn how to navigate the house better through this. Now if you hit that meat it'll make noise. Well, in a certain way. We'll get to that later. And one more plank. Let's get in here. We have a special key, okay? Let's drop the hammer. That's, that's all we can use it for. Grab that special key. We know where this goes. It goes upstairs. All the way upstairs. But before we go there, let me get over here. Check in, in these drawers. Make sure there's nothing. There is nothing. Is there anything in here? That's a secret button. You lean against that. We have a piece of a shotgun. We're not going to worry about that today. And the teddy bear will also be in the Easter egg video. Subscribe button, notification bell. Let's go on up to the attic. Oops. All the way up. Now you ask what's up here? Get that door to open. Go up here. You're not going to want to go too far. There's something in that cabinet over there and right there in that box where I got my dot there. There's a spider in there and it will eat you if you go into the wrong spot. So we got to feed it something. To distract it. Ah, meat. Where was that? It was down in the kitchen. Let's see what the spider's hiding, shall we? Grab the meat. Okay, so let's come on up here. Put this down. Here it comes. Whoa! Okay, well, that's while well, he's eating, let's come on over here. Grab the playhouse key. We, we know where to use this. Bye, spider. Gotta be quick to get out of here because he'll be done soon. See? So let's go ahead and drop on down. Go down to the playhouse. See what the playhouse has for us. go on out here. Let's go ahead and drop that off there. Okay. Now I'm going to go out, before I do that, I'm going to go grab the crossbow so that way I can go shoot the lock off the other door. If you don't remember what I mean, I will show you. Let's go out the window. Go down to the sewer. And once again, you have to you must line it up over the target area. Shoot. Got it. Open the door freeze trap. When Granny's home, you can put this on the floor. When she's coming towards you, when she steps on it, she will freeze and she will be gone for a, uh, a little bit. What does the skeleton have for us? Well, he has a melon for us. Thank you. Something is inside this melon. Oh, that must be what the note was talking about. How do we cut it open? I don't know. 
we drop it? No, that didn't do anything. Can we drop it from a higher height, maybe? Let's go out here to where there's the two-story area. Right here. What are we going to do? Ready, set, go. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try the stairs, maybe. No, that didn't work. Oh, I bet you we can chop it. Oh, I saw a guillotine in the backyard. Here we go. Put it in there. Chop it open. We have a padlock key. Before we use that, though, leave that there since we're out here. I'll go ahead and put these in. Put this in. What do we have? We have a spark plug. We don't need that because we are not escaping with the car. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that padlock key. There we go. I think that should about do it, right? Whoops, the padlock is covering the area here with the cut wires. I need a master key. The battery's there. We turn that off. Padlock code. Hammer. We did all that. Alright. Let's go ahead and escape. Master key. Well, I appreciate you watching this video today. I will be doing some more granny tutorials and videos. If you would care to see those, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified about those and other, plenty of other, first class premium content delivered straight to you. Also, do hit the like button just uh, for my work's sake and for the work I put into this video. I appreciate you watching. Let's go. Bye, Granny. All right, thank you.